Pierce comes back in straight into the senior slipper? Uh, yeah, he'll come straight back in. He's, um, I mean, realistically for Pierce, it's it's a bit like his first pre-season game. Really, he's, um, with his injury, it's not like he's recovering from a short-term injury. It's sort of a, a long rehab, but he's going really well. So um, we treat him as we probably would any player playing their first game of the year. So um, he'll be he'll be right to play. It's just the tempo that's gonna gonna be the adjustment for him. Will he be captain? Uh, it's a good question. I haven't thought about who'd be captain, but we've got three of them out there of their vice. So um, yeah, one of them going to have to take that mantle. And Rideau's another big in as well. Yeah, he uh, has to get through fitness test today. Still, uh, there's no guarantee he will play. So uh, fingers crossed on that one. What is even though it's his first game of the year, but what does Pierce? Well, what, I mean, obviously he's run and he's carry. Mm. Like, what else does he bring to the side? Does he inject in all? Uh, well, he does add another dimension, Pierce, um, to our outside game, which is, has been missing a little bit. Um, I mean, I think even Ryan Harwood, for the 15 minutes he played last week, showed that he can also brings that back in. Uh, be good. He makes it a little bit longer this week. It'd be nice. But um, those two back in, I think, really help our side just for our run and carry. Is there any word on Clay Beams? What happened with the surgery overnight? How um, was it yeah, not not great news. He's unfortunately they've had to stitch his. Uh, um, I guess cartilage back together and it's, a, it's usually a 12 to 14 week injury which if you do the numbers probably means his season really. It's a shattering for him, he's had so much bad luck with injuries hasn't he? Yeah, Clay hasn't been able to have any continuity of his career has he? Um, but um, oh, look this one isn't you know, a killer, uh, it's just unfortunate the timing of it and the weeks he'll miss which is the games of the season so um, but oh look he'll come back next year bigger and better it's a sort of surgery that'll obviously be better for him in the long term if you take those things away it's often bad for the players long term so you need to stitch him up and so for the long term future of his career. What have you made at GWS so far this year they've been pretty impressive haven't they? Yeah they've been very good very powerful they're running um, they're sort of um, sort of got that Port Adelaide style the way they play with their they run and gun and they can really, um, I guess, get their overlap game going. So um, they've also been a pretty good tackling pressure team as well. So, um, yeah, so they're a couple of their strengths and we're trying to blunt it, obviously. Do you ever think about bringing Pierce back through the twos or you're scared uh, <laughs> off what happened to O'Meara? <laughs> oh, no, it's not even the O'Meara thing. It's probably where our club's at a little bit. Um, you know, we've only got probably five, six players playing in our reserves this week uh, with a whole bunch of top-ups. So... Um, and also, so given the, the type of injury it is, and he's ready to play, could have almost played last week, Pierce, um, to be perfectly honest. He's got that extra week as well. So uh, we just think, you know, the, the gap between playing seniors and reserves for a guy that's played nearly 100 games is uh, minimal. Um, get him out in the better deck and, and get him out there. Um, so that's our attitude towards this. So you can play four quarters, I guess you expect to Yeah, we well, expectation to play four quarters. If he gets tired and starting to struggle, yeah, we'll sub him out, of course. But um, he's done, you know, 12, 13 case sessions every week now. So, um, yeah, our expectation is that the footy game's going to be similar to that anyway. Um, that's come up a loss. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, they're, they're, every every game you play, irrespective, you come off a win or a loss, you're hungry, obviously. What losses tend to do, they sharpen you up a little bit more. Um, so um, I'm sure we expect the team that's pretty hungry. They're obviously wanting to play their first final series, so they've got something really strong to play for as well. So uh, I wouldn't expect them to drop their guard in that regard. Are you a bit surprised with how well they're going? Oh, I'm not really that surprised. I mean, if you look at the talent of their list, I, mean, I think they've got 20 odd first round picks on their list. I think we've got four. I mean, so <laughs> fair to say, if you've got that much talent on your list, at, at, at some point in time, maturity will catch up and you'll play pretty well. So, um, so I'm not surprised that they're playing well given the talent on their list. Another big challenge for Jason Pike this week. He's had big challenges every week. Do you need to sort of help keep his confidence up and take on these battles? Yeah, look, uh, Clarkey has been fantastic. He hasn't even played 50 games yet, um, yet he's been asked to be our general. And that's uh, a big ask, it really is. I mean, it's um, he's been asked to play a mature man's game and direct others, and he's doing such a good job. I'm, I'm really proud of those those tall defenders um, under the adversity they've had just to try and uh, keep the group together um, and under difficulty. And, uh, yeah, he's sort of led that charge, so he's done a terrific job. Leper, with all these injuries, has anyone in the first part of the season I guess jumped up in your expectations or guys that you think will fill a spot in your best team now that mightn't have previously? Uh, well, it's given opportunity, hasn't it? And um, we'll have some more opportunity again this week um, in our side, there's no doubt. There'll be a couple of um, fresh faces in the in the group, given the injuries we've got. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Jaden McGrath probably jumped the order and then jumped back out because of injury. So uh, those things are... 
those things are, I guess, ever evolving. But one thing it will do is give us plenty of opportunity at senior level to look at guys and who can make it and who can survive. And uh, I think we've got a really good indication of our group now, um, who plays well at senior level and where they play. Um, unfortunate for our fans that we don't get our best team out there every week. Um, but we're getting some terrific opportunity for our kids and our fans get to see all our kids, which is good.